Let's talk about it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> you do it. I don't know. Vamos a hablar del taco. What? I'll Google it. How do you say let's talk about it in Spanish? In Spanish. Vamos a hablar del taco. Gringa. I'm headed to a wedding after this guy because I usually don't dress up for tacos. I dress down. Yes. I wear like roomy clothes so I can yes. roll or back. And we're going to do our let's talk about it. Let's talk about, let's about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. We're going to talk like about it. So you guys leave a comment and say if you like it or if you don't like it. Say don't ever do that again. Be another job. Or do, do it again. Or do it always. Every time. Do that again. All the time. Only do it that way. Every time. Mi amigo here. No Spanish, by the way. So y'all be sí. careful. Because sí. he knows. Yeah. <laughs> I was shocked the first time I heard you speak Spanish. Uh, I grew up in Southeast Oklahoma. I, I learned, I know a lot more stuff that can be put into jail and then <laughs> get my first phone call to get out of jail before anything else. So that's, that's Oh, it. that's good. Yeah. It's we know okay. who to call. Okay, so aside from that, who is Blake? Well, my name is Blake Lundry and I am a sales manager at Mustang Lakes here in uh, Salina, Texas with Perry Home. We're a new home builder, builder that's been in the Texas market for over 50 years. We're privately owned and uh, we're debt free. So that's a big thing with a lot of home builders that you can't really get out of a lot of other home builders because they're either financed through somebody else but we finance everything ourselves so <laughs> debt free debt free we don't owe nobody no money <laughs> who's your left you guys you have to watch this thing till the end because this guy's hysterical i only have funny people on my videos yeah absolutely yeah i don't He's, care if you're good looking no. that's crimson <laughs> and that is what you want in your home absolutely absolutely the resale value with this color are you kidding me <laughs> You're trying to be romantic. You're trying to be healthy and naughty. You know what? One time I was showing a property and my client was like going like that. And I was like, what? And he literally took out a dryer sheet. You would be surprised where I find dryer sheets. I have all found some. I'm like, oh. Well, yeah. no wonder that smells so good. <laughs> I'm fabuloso fresh, baby. I use fabuloso because A, it smells good. It has flowers on the packaging. Yes. And it. I don't know what else. Yeah, it does. You I grew up in poverty, okay? Oh, really? So I'm, I'm all I do too. Yeah, I'm all about yeah. the saving the monies, man. Dude, yep. macaroni and cheese and beanie weenies. Beanie weenies. If you were lucky, I would put spinach in the macaroni and cheese and it would be like, Ooh. it'd be gourmet. Yeah. Yeah. Or some extra milk or butter. That's when you know. You're like, oh my God, I got butter? <laughs> 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 oh, we get fancy tonight. Tell the people what you used to do before you were in sales with Perry. Oh, I auditioned three times for American Idol and failed every single one of them. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. But hey, no. I was on Second Date Update. What the heck is that? Is that an MTV thing? No. <laughs> it's on uh, I Love My Country. Okay, you like country so, music? I love country music. Okay, music. see? And I totally like interrupted your story, but... That's okay. It. No, no, no. The ADD is real here. Uh, what? Uh, no, so you were on... <laughs> exactly. What was I saying? You go on a date with the person, and then that person goes to you or something, so you call this radio station, and you're like, hey, uh, he never called back, or he didn't answer, or whatever, mm -hmm. and they pay for you to go on a second date. Luke Bryant was in town. Mr. Oh, Luke Bryant. Well, Chris Stapleton. I really wanted to see Chris Stapleton. Tennessee but, whiskey. Yes, right? Isn't that? Your that's the best wish song me. ever. I know. I, I love, love every single song. Yes. It's so depressing, but it's so good. Mm -hmm. Is it Fire away? away? Yeah. Oh my god. That's some intense. Yeah. Chris was in his feelings and made me like ugly cry like. <laughs> 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 right. So, um, Hawkeye happens to be. Do you know, have you not listened to the country station here in Texas? I have Spotify all day long, every well, day. You need to support your local radio station. Okay. Hawkeye, I support you. Not, really. not the Marvel. Not, not Hawkeye. Although he's super okay. hot. And I follow him on Instagram. And Hawkeye, if you're listening. I had to pick one guy and then I went with him. Okay. Well, was it fun? Not with him. <laughs> <laughs> She is always honest. Oh man, yeah, no, I'm so bad I am. He was funny, but he had like this abnormally big head, and he just thought he was God's gift to women and men. Arrogance is not good, guys. No, it's don't, not. Don't leave with that. Girls don't like that. Um, I had just gotten some new shoes, and my feet were killing me. You took off your shoes on the day? No. Oh, I would have done that. But I'm I was not wearing like, shoes right now. I was like, <laughs> but I kept telling this guy, like, man, my feet hurt. 
and he had seats. He wanted to stand in the section where it wasn't even like a good section. He's like, don't be inconsiderate. Thank you. Girl's and feet hurt. Go buy her some Dr. Shops. <laughs> <laughs> My feet were bleeding because it was little strings. They're really sexy. See, like girl shoes. This is what I have on right now, or hat on. <laughs> this is a basic shoe. Girls have straps, leather, like you could go snowboarding, oh. you could take the straps out and strangle somebody. I could just throw this at a cockroach. This is a really sexy song in Spanish, by the way. That's like, all my Latinos, you know what it is. Um, For any guys out there looking to date a real woman, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak the truth. Don't be too full of yourself. Take notes, guys. Take notes. Take it from me. <laughs> Take it from her. It don't work. That's, to me, I'm sorry, guys. That's little man syndrome. One hundred percent. Right? Don't be witches, men. Don't be bitches. <laughs> okay, I'm really ready for some tacos. What's your favorite kind of taco? I love barbecue. I like barbecue. Yeah. See, I like shrimp tacos. How do you say that in Spanish? Shrimp tacos. It's okay. Yeah. Bolilla. Right. People have been able to tell in the transition of our videos that I'm not real, real Mexican. But That's I'm still right. Mexican. That's okay. You just have to know yeah. broken Spanish. The words that I do know are related to real estate. So, so you feel like you can't get it when Right? I know enough to get me it. in and out of jail. <laughs> when I started getting better at it was when I got to real estate. This is the most important asset that these people have. You don't want to be like, you know that thing on your house? La cosa esa que está that roof? Put it. Yeah, it's a roof. I love how whenever some like I truly does not speak Spanish, they're like, they try to put a Latin accent on an English word, like, el roof? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> it's Walmart. A, it's easy. And then they put ita on everything. Ita. Yeah. Pancita, arrocito. And that doesn't make it Mexican. No. No. Or it doesn't make Spanish. it healthy either. No. <laughs> Margarita. Margarita. Sofrita. <laughs> it's okay. Dude. This is another good song. What does this one say? It talks about this guy being obsessed over a girl. No, wrong song. I love Latin music. I don't know what they're saying, but I love the beat. It's so sexy, right? I love Latin music. It it's, it's like, Latin sexy. culture in general is just a very sensual. There's something different about that. Have you ever been machata dancing? Yes. No. Are you kidding me? See, I can't like do it perfect, but I can fake it till I make it. But it's easier for girls and guys. Is it? To fake it till you make it? See. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what day of the week it is. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, this is all I gotta do. And oh look at her. But a guy, they're like, what is he doing? He's been doing that for an hour. <laughs> if you're coming out with this and this is the only thing you got, gentlemen, <laughs> you need to change the move. Where's that? <laughs> We're both like. This is not my phone, and I, read, <laughs> I leaned in to read her text He's messages my text message. very clearly. I was like, who is this? Who is he? <laughs> who? No. You cannot, good sir. Unless you want to buy a house. I have a bad eyebrow. I know, when I smile, when I get like, I really like small eyes. Like a lazy eye? Well, you get like squink squinky eyes. Yeah. I'm yes. half Italian and half Cherokee Indian, but I look Asian when I smile. <laughs> I don't get it. You have a good smile. I appreciate that. Yeah, you do. Two years of braces. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Mine are natural. Mine are not. My teeth. <laughs> oh. Here. I've never worn braces. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. I sucked my thumb until I was like 13. I had, I had stress. Yeah. <laughs> There was a that's, lot of that's there was a Those lot of issues. there was a lot of teasing involved. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I used to suck my thumb until I was like six, and my mother put a jalapeno on my thumb one night. Yes. Little did she know that I was allergic. I was in the ER. Did you ever suck your thumb again? <laughs> it was, PTSD. It took a thousand dollars. Hey guys, yeah. you have to subscribe to our channel. Right here. Because that's how we bring you more of this. And if you guys want to see him again, then you guys are gonna be like, you gotta tell me about that? it. I'm hilarious. I like, not here finger tap the okay. shit out of the keyboard. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do our five questions. So, what's your love language? Everybody says they have five signs. So it's touch. It's touch or like gestures. No. Uh, you go, you go. This is why he's single. Yeah. He's I single, am, ladies, and I, I am mingle. I am me. <laughs> Words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Acts of service or acts of kindness. Squirrel. Words Bro, of affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> Touch, words of affirmation, <laughs> gestures of kindness or love. Oh, quality time. Uh, is it like gifts? Gifts. Gifts, yeah. Like, yes. like, yeah. 
I am not a materialistic person. I grew up very poor. Gifts are out. Like, because you can have money, you can not have money, but when you don't have money, it's how you know the true character behind somebody. My love language is my time because I am very, very, very busy in our industry. I work 60 hours a week. My gestures and words of affirmation. That SUV just ran over that curve. Squirrel! <laughs> Look, it did it again! It's Please just, tell me, it's gonna be a female watch. I would love it if it was a dude. Oh, it's a dude! He can't oh my God. He's got his sunglasses on and he's yeah. got, uh, Mita, what, how you say? I uh, wear my sunglasses uh, at night. This is why you can't get anything done between the two of us. <laughs> but it's true, the quality time thing, I agree, because quality time. we work so much in our industry. It's ridiculous. And people don't understand. So she's a realtor, I'm a sales manager for a new home. People don't realize that you have to, it, there's so much of so your time. that we play. Words of affirmation, buddy, know how you feel. Good job, right? Exactly. Wow, you did you know? so good on that. Place. Yes, absolutely. No. <laughs> the jacket looks amazing on you. It's Wear tailored. it again. It's tailored. Every day. Um, what was my third? Gestures. I mean, I'm not going to buy you a card and tell you I love you, but let me send you some flowers or write you a note. Don't send me flowers. Now they die. <laughs> I may take your really expensive lipstick and write you a nice sweet message on the mirror. And then you can be pissed off at me. No. It's not okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. So we're doing the five questions. It takes us 35 to 45 minutes. <laughs> but it's fun. And it's it looks right. like you have a really great tan because of the light. Where's your camera at, first of all? Is it over here? It's right there. Yeah. Because I keep looking at myself and it's not lining up with me. We're back. Oh. And she got a phone call and it was all down here from there, like the Titanic. So my question for you is what made you get into real estate. How long have you been in it? Do you love it? Oh, I absolutely love it. I love it. I've been a realtor for almost three years. I just move a lot faster than most realtors, so I started a team a lot faster than most realtors. I got into real estate because I was a personal trainer and I was working 70 hours a week, single mom, and some of my first clients were at 5 in the morning. Who is up at 5 a.m.? Pick up the kids, bring them to the gym. Sometimes my kids were at the gym for three hours, and I would see them in between breaks when I had clients. And the next step to move up as a trainer was I felt to become manager, or go into some management position, and then I was going to lose that personal touch with my clients. I wasn't seeing my kids. I was working out sometimes three hours a day. I was overtraining and not looking like I even trained. So it was just like, I was like, okay, I've got to do something else. I looked into it and I was like, I need something where I can give back because I'm a giver. Uh, and with personal training, my reward was, oh, I lost 10 pounds. And I'm like, oh my God, you lost 10 pounds. I got off my diabetic medicine. I got off of this medicine. I, um, I lost two dress sizes, things like that. I, <clears throat> I used to train marathon runners. So that was so rewarding to me. So I had to find something just as rewarding, which was helping people find their dream home was, like the maps, right? Right. Unless I went on Bumble and I helped them find a dream partner, but I'm not good at that. So, but I did think about like um, helping guys build their bubble profile because some guys suck at it, and their their selfies were like this, <laughs> like that, <laughs> like black out the girl. Like, what is going on with this profile? This went to hell. Real estate. I think it's fun. I love homes. I love looking at. I, I have this creative side to me. I can totally see that. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that you have got. You like to live the experience like, that your client would maybe go into. Yes. Like we're, absolutely. We're... I like that. Yes, and uh, my kids. <clears throat> I get more. Not. Not. Um, freedom. Because I don't. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't. No, you but don't. I get to see them more. Yes, you build your own schedule when you're not in an office yes. at a desk. All right. right. So my turn? It's your turn. Oh. We're still doing five questions. It's been 45 minutes and we've done two. <laughs> What's one of your biggest regrets? No, you have to live your life in learning stages because you're never, ever, ever going to do anything 100% right all the time. Uh, one of my biggest regrets, I think, is thinking that you have control over every situation and stressing out to the point of making yourself sick. Whenever you have the opportunity to, to learn from your mistakes and you have the mindset of, you know, 
I can't control everything, therefore I can't control what happens, but you can always learn from the situation no matter the outcome. Yeah. You become so much happier and so much better off as a human being, as a professional in what you're doing in relationships, whatever it is. So yeah. I think it's easy. It's a fly. <laughs> I give myself, I try to give myself 15 minutes to be mad at something. If I let something ruin my day, I'm giving it control. Yeah. It's like, no, I can't continue to give this person, or because they don't care. No, it's they not affecting on. them. So no. I might get, if, if it's something really, really serious, I might say, okay, I need a day. Just give me a day off. I need a Yeah, day. I'm usually, as long as you respect my time and listen to me when I say, hey, I need to step back for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna go work out, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna process yes. it, and then I'm gonna move on, and we're not gonna argue about it anymore. People that are the closest to you know. My daughter, I'm like, I'm gonna go for a run. She's like, Mom, it's 11 o'clock at night, I'm like, I'm gonna go for a run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna put myself in timeout. Okay? Yeah. Put a glass of wine. 10 minutes yes. or a bottle. But yeah, <laughs> no, no, glass a, of wine. it's okay. Just yeah. put a straw on it, it's okay. In a backpack, <laughs> yeah, just put me in this paper. <laughs> then it's okay. <laughs> Nobody's judging. No. We don't judge. No. Judge free zone. Yes. Judge free zone. What do you like about living in the DFW? I'm from Oklahoma. I actually ran a half marathon in Oklahoma. I ran a couple. Correct. So I ran the memorial. Is that in Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Like, maybe. I have no. Oh, OKC? Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Is it different? I have no idea. Oh, there's a memorial and they have a, a run. A half marathon and a marathon. I ran the half marathon. That was like the saddest marathon ever. They have the firefighters running with their full gear on. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. I'm like, my free workout. Yeah. And it's just like you get there and you're like, it's like we're gonna have a moment of silence for the, I don't know how many people that passed away. Passed away. So what was the question? Okay, we're back. I just had a mental meltdown because I'm getting hungry. You know those commercials where you have that that lady and she's like all super sassy and whatnot, and it's like, eat a Twix. You're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> it's a Snickers. Oh, I don't eat candy. Oh my god, I'm so big on cupcakes. I love like pies and desserts. Okay, and have you had Gigi's pie. cupcakes? Are they good? You'll remember. It's like a tower. A oh my god, it's amazing. I might make an exception and take you just because I feel like you need to go. We could do a segment called, <laughs> what is cupcake problem? Cupcake, bake, bake, for Abort mission. <laughs> What's your dream vacation? Love, love travel. It's like my number one thing to do. What's the last place you traveled to? My, me and my family went to California this summer to San Diego. <laughs> my family and I. I have a master's, but you wouldn't know it. <laughs> my dream vacation would be to backpack all across Europe to be gone for like three months. New Zealand, Iceland, Italy. Antarctica. So did but, you go to Europe? No, I haven't. I went to Ireland. Is that Europe? Siri. <laughs> Into? Ooh, the pants. Sorry, <laughs> this lady has some really oh, bright pink pants. Pantalones. Oh. I just pushed this back, I'm sorry. Oh, it's here! Yeah. Salsa mix crab. Oh, yes. Yeah. Selfie! Risky tacos or risky tacos? Hi, it's me. Oh, yeah. Chicken Brian Peckles. I just had a food gasm. Oh. Guys, I just want to show you all this awesomeness that we have just received from the mm. food gods. Okay. What is this? So, how the do we... food gods. <laughs> Brisket tacos? I don't know. I've had these nachos here, guys, and this is too legit to quit. Dios mio. Okay, where do you want to start? Should we start? He's <laughs> excited. Brisket so what do you put in your uh, brisket tacos? That's a crazy Latin coming out. <laughs> Fellas, don't pronounce it wrong and give her a taco the right way. It was for the video. It's okay, I was like. It's all for the video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm really kidding. I'm just playing. Salsa and okay. aguacate. I'm almost done. Yeah, if you put lime on anything, it talks on your palos. Look at that. Yes, do I have it? Oh, yeah. Cheers! Cheers. Oh. That's exactly what I said inside my mouth. These are good. This brisket taco is legit. Amazing. This is like right off of Preston and kind of behind Kroger. 
right? Yeah. Oh man, the rice is really good. And we usually don't judge the rice. We're just here for the tacos. Miraos esta persina. Oh my god. We're gonna try the fajita tacos next, right? Ooh. The onions like the guacamole, I like Seriously. <laughs> I was like, alright, she doesn't like the so, onions people. Do you like jalapenos? I do like the jalapenos. Oh, ja? Oh, ja. Ja! Oh. Like guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. Yeah. Guacamole. You don't usually have something. It's okay, guacamole. Gotta love the man who likes his fingers. Not that smacks his food though. That's one of my, I know you didn't ask me about pet peeves, but. I don't oh, smack. Man. That's one of my. Ooh, salsa right is now. not spicy. I think I may like. Wait, what do we have? Chicken? We should play that song in the background. Eso está rico. What is it? Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. How was I? Yeah, I know, but what is it in the song? delicious, actually. Oh my god, please freaking cut already. So we usually do like a bite. The guys usually eat the whole. She does a bite. I'm halfway finished. You can't control this monster. <laughs> it's a monster. I still look at the wedding. And this is like in Salina, Texas, guys. This is delicious. Yeah, Prosper, Salina, Texas border. I can say crayon oh to Crayola. That's confidence, people. Yes. But not arrogance. Not arrogance. So we're doing chicken next, right? See. Si. Oil. Lime. Lime on everything, people. Toothache. Lime. Heartache. Lime. lime. Liver ache. Lime and tequila. <laughs> you gotta add some tequila to that. I, really, I, I really don't do sour cream. I don't like sour cream. Anymore. I don't either. I can't even get a hold of it now. That's what she said. Damn right. <laughs> so look at Sat my bite. And look at Sally's little bite. Hangry. Jesus. Esto está rico. Míralo, míralo. Esta es una flauta. Flauta. De pollo. Las ponemos en el guacamole. Esto está rico. Queso. Esteban. <laughs> Y'all remember Esteban? <laughs> they put us on the bad boy corner. And we can't get it. I told him when he got here. I'm in the corner where the Mexicans are. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I know exactly where that's at. I didn't know. I was like, Daddy! <laughs> My mood after food. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. What's our sermon today? Beautiful. <laughs> ben, bonita. You guys, it's not that the service has been bad, it's that we've been here a long time. We've been here just a long time. We just they been think dying. we're working. <laughs> we're we're like, just here to eat. No, boo. We're eating. That's my mom. Mom's texting. But, she brought me caldo de pollo yesterday. She called you a crazy chicken? Caldo de pollo. Chicken too. She called you a crazy chicken in Esteban! Esteban, por favor! Hey, is that my guys? It's a stuffed jalapeno. Oh, we need to eat the stuffed jalapeno. This is what it looks like. We don't know what it... Oi! Okay, I don't know what that is, but... Oh, that's all you, boo. This Latino does not like jalapeno. So this looks like it's uh, a deep fried jalapeno or chili relleno, almost. Chili relleno. Mirado el latino. Let's see here. I don't know what I want to dip this in. I think cheese. First of all, you. It's good. It's not spicy. <laughs> Esteban! Esteban, por favor! Ahí! Esteban, por favor! 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 <laughs> Yo, this pterodactyl over here is giving us hell. <laughs> Trying to swoop in on. I think he's bringing his friends. Maybe it's not just Esteban, Esteban Juanita, Ricardo. Bonita, Ricardo. <laughs> oh my gosh, incredible. I'm not. <laughs> Quesadillas, oh, that's one thing I have not tried. It's the quesadillas. And all this is gluten free, fat free, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Esteban! I'm glad they're not busy because they would probably look at us like we were idiots. Or food bloggers. Mm. <gasps> Low battery! 
Every time. We are going to bump, ladies and gentlemen. They did throw some extra food at us that we politely accepted. I mean, I'm gonna say no to food. We reject it. We're That's really like rude. no to Miss Sally. What would you say your first taco option or choice was? Oh, my number one, without no, a doubt, is biscuit tacos. They were amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. She's only probably had two tacos total, and I've had three, and a quesadilla, and a fried jalapeno, and a flauta, <laughs> and a nacho. And I'm fixing to eat this other brisket taco because it is my number one as well. Yay! So we both agree that the brisket tacos are number one. Alright, my number two, the chicken one. <laughs> it's not dry like most chickens are, so what was your number two? I like the beef, the fajita beef. Yeah. That was my number two. The flautas were good. The flautas? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm kind of thinking about the flautas. My number three was a beef fajita one, but only because I'm not a huge fan of beef. I really don't care for chicken. Though. Okay, so then that, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like that. You see why oh, now? Yeah, that's really good. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, mate. How do you do that? Like, let's talk about it. It's like, let's talk about it. 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 I like it. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Featuring more. Esteban. Oh, we should do it to where I do it in Spanish and you do it in English. At the same time? Uh, what you do let's it? talk about it in Spanish. I'm here, I don't know. Take it in, guys. Okay. All right, cool. I like how you get ready every time I get ready. Yeah, more. Oh, I got you. Wait, mine's. <laughs> Wait. How does it go that way? Oh. You could have one superpower. What would it be? It would be to read people's mind. What did that say? It said in Spanish. Superpower. You'd superpower. Love to read people's mind. That way I don't have to be like to you in the nice kitchen. <laughs> I don't cook. <laughs> or right. a guy when. Look, I want five kids. And I'm like, um, I. It's the. It's the first one. And the father of the evil is good stuff. Yeah. Last question. The last Ooh. one. I had something. What's the last thing you did that you were like, oh my god, that was fun? I've got to do that again. But mm. sound. Esteban. <laughs> He's bad, guys. I'm Esteban. done. Esteban. It's time to finish your stuff. Okay. Oh, mi niño. <laughs> Esteban! <laughs> I called him my kid, now he's like, Papa! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> guys, you probably didn't get much out of this video other than that I am freaking crazy and I would love to sell you a house. And we're fine! Yes, real people! I eat all the time. Where to have the taco, or not to have the tacos, but what house to buy? And what not house to buy. Yeah, you don't put that. Good. Or how to raise car. a pet fly called Esteban. <laughs> Where is Esteban? You never raise a pet fly. Guess what? Today's your day. You have all the inside yes. one. Right here, baby. <laughs> Raising Esteban. Why do you keep saying Asi? What do you think Asi means? <laughs> yes. Asi? Asi does not mean yes. What does that mean? That's so cute, you guys. At the end of our video, he <laughs> I thought it means, oh yes. No, I see means like that. Like that? <laughs> it's so fast, it still plays. I see, like that. Like that. Yes. You know, you're just like, oh my god, these guys are so much fun. I should subscribe to their channel. Right here. And I should like, hit the little link to get notifications. Where's, subscribe click and subscribe. Yes. Chop and thank that. you guys for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having it me. It was so much fun, it really was. Absolutely. I have laughed so hard. It's been good for the soul. Until next time, let's, let's talk, talk about, about it! it.